Hello, my friends. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. Welcome to Breakfast with Sergio. This is episode number 28. Very close to getting to the 30th episode. We have something special on that day, on the 30th, and there's a reason why, and I'll tell you when we get there. But welcome to Breakfast with Sergio, episode number 28. Today, I want to talk about common mistakes artists make when preparing their work for a show or for presentation. So that's what I want to talk about today. So my friends, as you join me for breakfast today, I want to say welcome. Uh, snowy day in Chicago, very weird kind of weather that we're getting lately uh, around here. And I know we get artists who watch breakfast with Sergio from all around the world. You guys send me messages. For some of you, it's actually evening time if you're on the other side of the world. <laughs> but welcome anyway to breakfast with Sergio. So today I want to talk about um, common mistakes that artists make when preparing their work for a show. A presentation of their work and the reason is because this week we are installing a big huge show here at the Jovier Center it's a, about 50 something pieces 52 pieces or so uh, of all sizes small large uh, and um, it's gonna be a great show opening this Friday at the Jovier Center called Visions of Venus uh, created by Dr. Uh, Elaine Smith so you, you don't want to miss it check it out this coming Friday but uh, I want to talk about that you know what are some of the common mistakes artists made that you know when presenting their work, and this is very important because presentation uh, of your work is super important. Yeah, making the work in the studio is very important, but you have to think about how it's going to be displayed when it goes out in the world, right? How do you present your work when it goes out in the world to the public, to the gallery, to the museum, to the institution, to whatever it's gonna be at, you know, you want to make sure that your work always looks great because the presentation speaks about, you know, you as an artist. It's a very important, you know, it, it tells a lot about the artist. So uh, before I talk about that, today for breakfast, I made a breakfast egg sandwich, super good. It has a slice of uh, thin ham. It has tomato slices, I love tomato. Uh, it has egg white and all wrapped in a French bread. So that's what I made for breakfast today. Super good, super great and um, uh, I can't, can't wait to start eating it. But uh, so presentation, my friends, very important. So what, some of the common mistakes artists make when, when presenting the work, one of them is that uh, they bring the, the painting, if it's a painting and it's wet, right? And a lot of times that's why you will see in a lot of exhibition agreements that said work must be dry. And sometimes, even in mine, sometimes it's in capital letters, dry, right? The work should be dry. There's nothing worse than you know, you're about to install a painting and you, you know, hang it or close or take it from the edges and it's wet and it's wet. Of course, uh, you don't want people to touch the surface, but sometimes if the work is not framed or is paint all around um, and it's, you, you touch it and it's wet, like that's like, that's a big no, right? You wanna make sure your work is uh, properly dry before you bring it to the venue. That doesn't mean that sometimes you might need to do a little uh, touch up here and there, but you know, it should be dry. Um, another one is uh, the frame is not fitting correctly. I have, you know, in many, many years of curate, curating uh, shows, you know, sometimes a painting has a frame that just doesn't fit right. They just drop it off and uh, the painting is falling off the frame. Uh, that's a big no-no, right? You know, you don't want the uh, the installer or somebody having to mess around with your work so that it's properly staying in its frame. Maybe the frame is too big uh, and it's just not fitting properly. So you wanna make sure that you fix that before you drop it off, right? And again, all these things I'm saying are things that I have experienced over the years. Um, or sometimes it's a really old frame that's just falling apart and it just doesn't fit right. There's nothing worse than having a beautiful drawing, for example, um, be presented on a frame that, like a garage sale frame that is not even the right size for the piece. That's the worst, that's the worst. And um, sometimes, you know, you have to make the choice, do I really want to show this in the gallery if the artist didn't take the time to properly prepare the work? So you gotta really think about that, you know, when you are um, setting up, preparing your work for a show because presentation, again, speaks about you as the artist, right? It speaks about 
you, you know, the attention, the detail that you put into making sure the work looks professional, looks beautiful to the public. Uh, another one is uh, there's no wires or there's no hooks, there's no way to hang the piece. You, and again, you might think that's just for emerging artists, but no, you know, you have no idea how many um, artists who've been making this for a long time, have many shows and they still sometimes forget to put the wires, right? Or to put hooks and they just say, oh, so you just put a couple nails and just hang it. You know, that always makes me nervous. And, uh, you know, because you just never know, you know, it. Uh, think about that when you are hanging a show, you know, there's a lot of hammering going on on the wall, there's vibration. Uh, throughout the wall, so yeah, it might it might stay just fine if you just hang it and and that's it. But you know you got to think about you know the protection of your work over time as it hangs. If a collector buys it, for example, if a collector is gonna buy the piece, you want the piece to stay on the wall for you know for a long time. You don't want it to fall off. So always think about that. Think about just beyond the show. You know, putting wires it's a great great way to do it, or putting some hang. Um, hanging or some hardware devices, could be hooks, uh, could be rings. Uh, there's so many ways you can just go to the hardware store. There's so many options that you can do so that your work is, uh, you know, is secured and safe on a wall for the long run. And particularly this is a problem when the, the artist just wants to say, oh, so you just put, just put a couple nails on the top, but sometimes the back of the, and I touch the, the wood, you know, the, the, um, um, the stretcher bar and sometimes they are super smooth and you know that thing just can slide over time uh, maybe not during the show but if, if somebody buys that thing you know it can slide over time so think about that you know think about the long-term uh, installation of the piece always make sure it's ready I will always recommend wired you know wires can never go wrong with with wire now if the, if the piece is very large then just put rings on uh, on each side of the work. So, so it just has two screws on each side and it's perfectly secured. Always think about the security of your work. I had pieces, here's another one. I had pieces, here's another one, a uh, common mistake. Uh, the, it's a maybe older piece, beautiful piece, but it's an older piece and the hardware is wearing out. I literally had instances in which a piece is hung on the wall and then the piece just falls off. And so we go check it out and it's just the the um, the hooks are really tiny and they they just pulled off the they wore the wood is worn out you gotta check your work before it, it you know you drop it off to a gallery an institution museum whatever make sure that all those hooks, especially if it's an older piece that the you know the hooks are still in good condition that the wood hasn't worn out where they starting to become loose the artist said, well, you know, it was great in my wall, you know, for all these years. Well, exactly, it was great because you never touched it, but now that you removed it and now it's going to a new setting, you know, if the piece has, it was just hanging there, ready to pull out, you know, you gotta check all those things, you know, very important, make sure that the hardware for hanging, it is, uh, it is ready and is set. Another one, um, the frame, the, the the frame is is, is not, is falling apart or, it, or it's not right, uh, that's also, a common mistake that I see sometimes um, when artists working and preparing their work for a show. Now, does the piece always have to be framed? Well, not necessarily. And the art artists sometimes ask me, you know, does, does my piece have to be framed? And my answer is, well, it depends on what it is. You know, it depends on the piece. It depends how you prepare it to, um, you know, to to be to be displayed. Uh, it depends if it's a painting or a drawing and so on. It depends on the size. At the end of the day, you know, whether it's framed or not you want to prepare the piece so it is beautiful when it's hanging on the wall, so it is fully finished. If it's not framed, which a lot of artists uh, choose not to frame it, then at least finish up the edges of the painting, right? Maybe uh, paint them or, or do something so so it looks clean, it looks nice, it just doesn't look like just the artist didn't want to go bother to frame it. Make it a, as an intention, right? What, what is your intention for the piece? and how can you make it so it looks presentable, it looks beautiful, particularly pieces or paintings that, and, 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 and many of these refer to paintings, but uh, paintings that are thin stretchers. The thin stretchers often work, particularly on larger pieces, so the frame will also help it to, to, to stay straight because if, it, if the piece looks warped, it just looks bad on a show. So think about that too. Um, like, for example, my pieces are not framed, they are way too large, but even though they are not framed, they are fully finished. They are uh, finished with a two inch border all around, white, pristine, super clean, 
with um, a grommet rings on each corner so it's easy to hang and, uh, it, and it looks very clean even though it doesn't have an actual frame there's a visual frame which is the two inch border that surrounds the piece so you know think about the final presentation of the work and even on my very very large pieces um, that uh, again don't have a frame uh, the way it you know the way I finish it on the edges I make sure that it's going to look beautiful when it's hanging on that wall so again those are some of the, the tips that you want to think about you know uh, when preparing the work to be ready for display for show how can I make it so it looks beautiful when it's hanging uh, in the wall so it looks pristine because again the presentation of your piece speaks about you as the artist about your attention to detail about your attention to the overall life and presentation of a work of art not only when it's in the studio but also when it goes out into the world uh, when it goes to a collector's home and it's going to be there for a long long time you want to make sure it's going to be good and the last one is that maybe you are testing some sort of new method some sort of new technique and you haven't quite tested it well yet and the piece is falling apart you must say Sergio, that, that doesn't happen actually it does happen you know i've been doing this for many years and sometimes, you know, that is my trying a new glue or maybe some sort of assemblage piece and the piece is literally falling apart. It's not holding together. And say, well, Sergio, you know, it was great in my studio. I had it hanging for two months. Yes, but remember the conditions of your studio may be different conditions of a gallery space. You know, uh, the lighting, you know, the heat that comes in the light, for example, uh, it might be different or, you know, just the fact of that you're moving it around you know, from the studio to the gallery um, may also have an impact. The, the car, the, the drive from your studio to, uh, to the gallery, the vibration and so on. So, you know, if you're testing something new, uh, some new technique, some new way of working, maybe your sculpture, some new way of working, make sure you, you test it thoroughly before you actually show it, before you actually present it to the public so that it is uh, in always in pristine and great condition. So those are just some quick tips. Again, as I prepare this week to hang a big show, I expect not to see any of these problems because uh, these are all very seasoned artists. And uh, but I, it just made me think today. I think it's a good way. It's a good talk for Monday. Really quickly, always think about the the work, uh, not only in the studio, but how it uh, is presented in the world because that speaks about you as an artist too, your attention to detail, your attention to the overall life of the work of art. So thank you so much for watching Breakfast with Sergio. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Sergio Gomez Projects if you haven't done so. Also, you can find these videos if you have missed some of them, find them in YouTube at Sergio Gomez Videos. Uh, if you want to check out some of my other resources, uh, also check out in my podcast. Um, the Artist Next Level podcast, just check it out at theartistnextlevel.com. Thanks everybody for watching. Have an amazing week and I will see you next time. I'll see you on Wednesday for Breakfast with Sergio, episode 29 and episode 30, which is a special one this Friday. You don't want to miss it. Bye.